Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking all about my favorite places to shop for my baby. I feel like as soon as you find out you're pregnant, this is like one of the first things you do is go look at cute clothes, and that is definitely something that I did. And shopping for babies is just so fun. So I'm gonna be talking all about the different shops that I like to go to to buy clothes, toys, all that fun stuff for our baby. But if this is your first time checking out my channel, my name is Kylie, and right now as I'm filming this, I'm 40 weeks and one day with our baby boy, and my induction is actually scheduled for tomorrow. So when you guys are watching this, I have hopefully already had him. So if you guys wanna see pictures and more details about that sooner, then definitely go check out my Instagram because I'll be posting things as they're happening in the hospital and all those kind of updates over there. But I'm pre-filming this video so it's all ready to go for you guys, but it's crazy that by the time you guys are watching this, I've already had him. We're probably most likely home and just cuddling and enjoying him and I'm so, so excited to meet him. So again, if you want to see pictures right away, definitely go check out my Instagram and I will be doing a birth story video on this channel eventually. I'm hoping to keep up with my posting schedule, but no promises. I do usually post every single Saturday, but obviously we did just have a baby, so if things are a little hectic and I don't post for a few weeks, don't worry, I will be back and I will be doing a birth story recap. We will also be doing a full birth vlog over on our vlog channel, so if you guys aren't subscribed over there, go check out that channel and hopefully that vlog should be up soon as well. I definitely did not think I would make it past my due date. I thought for sure he was coming early, but here we are sitting here 40 weeks in one day and I'm just excited that there's an end date in sight, that tomorrow we get to go in, start the induction, and meet him. So without further ado, let's get on into talking about my favorite places to shop for baby. So I have a list here on my phone of some of my favorite places, and I'm gonna be kind of categorizing them by like cheap, to more pricey, to more affordable, and I'll be kind of telling you guys all the details about all the different shops, what they offer at the different shops, and all that kind of stuff. I'll also be showing you guys at least one piece from every item, that way you can kind of get a feel for the items the shop has. Most of them, I definitely have more than one item from them, but I did not feel like pulling out his whole wardrobe and sorting through them all, so I'm just gonna be showing you guys one piece from each shop and I feel like that'll give you a better feel for what they have. So I'm just gonna kind of go from the top of this pile to the bottom. So the first piece I have on here is from Gap. And this piece that I have is just a onesie. I think this is a six to 12 months. Zero to three months, wow, okay. So this actually looks pretty big for a zero to three month, but this is just a ribbed white onesie and it has the little mittens on it. And this quality feels really, really amazing. Gap is one of the first places that I went on to get pieces for our baby boy because they're super cheap, really affordable, and the quality is really good. So if you're looking for more quantity, versus quality, Gap is definitely a good place to go. And their styles are super minimal. Like their color scheme is more like creams, blues, grays. They don't really stray from those colors very often. So I really like to shop from there because it's really gender neutral. Again, the prices are amazing and they're always doing sales. So sometimes I'll have a Safari tab open on my phone or computer. I'll have all the pieces that I want to buy in the future and then I'll wait for the sales to come on and then I'll buy them when the sales come because they definitely always have sales going on so definitely wait for those sales before you guys purchase or if you're just in a rush you can just get them because the prices are pretty reasonable without the sales but with the sale um, they're even cheaper so definitely check out Gap. I feel like Gap is pretty good at shipping stuff pretty quickly and it's easy to return stuff in stores because they have so many stores in person too. Next in my pile here I have a little onesie from Target. Obviously Target is such an easy place to shop for baby. Their prices are super cheap, really affordable. You can return them super easily. You can do pickups, shipping, all that kind of stuff. So it's really easy to get a hold of pieces if you need them quickly. I would say a lot of his cute like footy pajamas like this are from Target and this one is just a simple gray one. It has bears and trees on it. It's a button up and then the feet have little bears on them. So this was just too cute, I couldn't pass it up. This one was $7.99, so seriously, like really good pricing. They definitely have more pieces that are printed and have designs on them rather than like this Gap one that's more plain and simple and more like minimalist. Target's patterns are definitely more bright, 
out there, um, but they can be really fun sometimes. I feel like I don't have to tell you Target's a great place to shop. He will definitely probably be wearing Target his whole life. Next in this pile, I have Old Navy, and Old Navy is another place very similar to Gap. Their prices are really affordable, they always have sales going on, and their patterns are really minimalist with, again, the whites, blues, grays, all that kind of stuff. Very minimal patterns. They don't have many things with like bright colors or bright patterns, which I tend to be drawn towards more of the simple colors and plain things and more minimalist. So this is a super fuzzy newborn onesie that I really hope he fits into because it's so adorable. It's a zip up, which is really nice. It has the feet on it and then it has fold over mittens as well. Old Navy was another place that I went to right when I found out that I was pregnant because their prices are really great. And again, this is the same thing with Gap. I'll keep a bunch of things in my cart and then when a sale comes, I'll hit purchase and it works out super well. The next shop I'm going to be talking about is H&M. H&M is probably the place I've shopped the most for him because their pricing is probably the best because they have a lot of bundles. So like for instance, I got this onesie in a pack of like four or five and I want to say it was only like $12 for the pack. And they're super minimal colors. They're like browns, grays, whites, um, no patterns on them, which I love. And then same thing with these pants from H&M. Um, this one also came in another pack that was super cheap and they pair really well together. So again, if you're looking for more quantity, h and is a really good place to go. But the thing about H&M is that they don't have a ton of sales throughout the year, so you kind of have to catch things as they come up, and they sell out of things really quick. I feel like it's a really popular place to shop for babies, so if you see something on the website you want, you want to make sure you get it right away, because I've had things in my cart disappear overnight because they just sell out so quick. Definitely keep that in mind when you're shopping at H&M, but I would say the pricing is probably the best for the amount of clothes that you get there. And the style is just very minimalist, which is what I was going for. So again, really simple colors, good pricing. I would say the best bang for your buck. Okay, so now we're gonna get more into like the boutique -y online stores, which are some of my favorites. Some of these you find just like scrolling on Instagram and it's like a sponsored post, but the clothes are so cute, you can't pass them up. So this first shop I found pretty early on in my pregnancy and this was one of the first things I ordered and it's a shop called Little One Shop. They have a bunch of cute ribbed pieces like this. They have them in a bunch of different colors. They have some ribbed sets. They have some other cute sets that are adorable. I have a few other pieces from them for when he gets a little bit older and I can't wait for him to wear them. They're so cute. But this is obviously one of the shops that is more on the pricey side. I wanna say these onesies are around $20, maybe less. They do have sales a lot of the time, so I would wait for them to go on sale. Sorry, honey is squeaking like crazy over there. Stop squeaking! So they do have sales a lot of the time, so I would subscribe to their email list or something, so that way you know when the sales are coming. Or follow them on Instagram, they always post when their sales are happening then. But yeah, these are definitely not the cheapest option. They're definitely more pricey, more fun outfits than practical. But I feel like you have to have a few of those. So I have two of these onesies, and then I have a few of their little outfit sets as well for when he gets older. But I would say they're definitely worth it, and if you buy them in general, neutral colors they could work for your babies in the future too I am constantly on their website looking for when new stuff goes up or when things go on sale so definitely check them out um, if you're wanting more cutesy pieces another similar boutique to little ones shop is a shop called Mebe baby and I have a lot of things from them for him including some of these little knotted gowns I think I have two or three of these um, for when he's a newborn and it's just this brown ribbed knotted gown makes it super easy for diaper changes their pieces are seriously adorable. I think all of his crepe sheets that I have are also from Mebe Baby. This one's like a green design with some trees. I have one that has little crosses on it because our last name is Cross. I have some swaddles from them. They have a really good variety of different things. Again, I would say their pricing is more moderate, not super expensive, but definitely not cheap. They don't have a lot of sales, so you kind of have to just go for what the pricing is on the website, um, but they do occasionally do them. But again, not the cheapest items, so I do have a few pieces from them. 
Um, but I would say the majority of his clothes are not from Me Be Baby, but I wish they could be because they're so cute. But yeah, again, definitely a little bit on the more moderate pricey side. Now moving on to more accessory type things. I have a few blankets from Serenoni. You guys should definitely go follow them over on Instagram because their blankets are the cutest. I have one packed away in my hospital bag for him. It's like a light bluish color and it is the softest material ever. It's going to be his little coming home blanket and I'm so excited to use it um, but I also have this swaddle from them and it has bears on it mountains trees and it is such a soft cozy material I absolutely love Serenoni again their blankets are more on the pricey side but I would say they're definitely worth it because you're, I feel like your baby needs at least one good blanket one good swaddle so definitely check out Serenoni for their blankets I love them I think they also have some other pieces maybe like some clothing pieces or some hats, I'm not 100% sure, but we just have some blankets from them and that's it. Another thing I have to mention is baby shoes. I know this is something that people are like, your baby will never wear shoes, don't buy them, they're not worth it. But when I saw these when I first got pregnant, I had to get them. They're like little knockoff moccasins from Old Navy and they are just the tiniest, cutest things. He probably won't ever actually wear these walking, but I feel like for a cute picture or something, they're so worth it. But yeah, I feel like every baby needs a few cute little pairs of shoes. So Old Navy is a good place to find those. Next for hats, I have hats from a bunch of different places, but I had to get some from this place called Slouch Headwear. These are definitely on the moderate scale of pricing. Definitely not cheap, not expensive, but kind of right there in the middle. I think I have three hats from them and they're just the cutest things ever. I also have hats from Mebi Baby and I think Solly Baby is as well both of those are really good places to get um, newborn hats but really you can get cheap hats anywhere I mean Target has them H&M has them Gap they all have them so just depending on what your style you're looking for and what price you're willing to pay but I would say if you're willing to spend a little bit more <laughs> these ones from slouch are the cutest Okay, the last thing I have to mention is pacifiers. And I have two brands that I really love for pacifiers. The first one is Ryan and Rose. You've probably heard of them. These ones are pretty expensive. I think they're like $7 for each. They could be more than that. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. So you guys can go check them out. But I really love the Ryan and Rose. They have a bunch of different nipple styles so that you can get ones that your baby likes. I think Honey likes them too. <laughs> and then I also have a few of the Bibs pacifiers here. I've heard really good things about these. I feel like they're a little bit cheaper than the Ryan and Rose ones. So yeah, we'll kind of see which ones our baby likes, but hopefully he will kind of like both so we can switch back and forth. But obviously Target has some that are really cheap. These ones are just more of the more stylistic, fun pacifiers. And then lastly on my list, I have a few toy shops that I've purchased a few things from, but they haven't come in yet. So I wanted to quickly mention them to you guys if you guys are looking for some cute toys. The first one is called Coco Village and I just placed an order from them and I'm so excited for it to come in. They have really cute wood toys. All of their toys are super minimal colors, not very bright. My style is definitely more of the wood toys, muted colors, nothing super bright and flashy. They have some really good items, but they are more on the pricey side. And then the next place is Scandi Born, and I am obsessed with their toys. They are adorable, but I have not purchased anything from them yet because one, they sell out super fast, and two, they are very pricey. So I'm kind of waiting till he gets a little bit older and I can see what he's interested in and likes to play with before I buy some bigger wood toys but Scandi Born definitely has a very big variety of wood toys, Montessori toys, and all things like that which I'm definitely interested in so I definitely will be purchasing from them in the future. So I feel like those two toy places are going to be kind of my go-to but I'll definitely do a part two of this video when he's a little bit older and he's kind of getting into more things. That way I have a better feel on like shoes, toys, maybe books and things like that. So let me know if that's something you guys are interested in seeing and I will definitely film that video for you guys in the future. But that is everything. That is all the shops I'm going to be talking about. Let me know down below if you guys have any shops that you think I'd be interested in. I love finding new ones and trying them out. So definitely comment them down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and it helped you guys out shopping for your babies. And if you guys aren't subscribed, 
subscribed, make sure you do hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos to come because like I mentioned, I will be doing a birth story video. I'm sure I'll do newborn essentials and a ton of newborn videos to come. Also give this video a thumbs up if you are excited to meet our baby boy and have been following along with us throughout this whole journey. I can't believe the time is finally here to meet him. I'm so ready. I am ready to not be pregnant anymore. <laughs> so again, I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.